It is a tradition and a cultural staple here in Charlotte. The Yasu Greek Festival that's been going on for decades returns in just a matter of days in Dilworth. Thank you so much to John Shelton for being here, the Director of Communications. Thanks, Thanks so much. Me. Yeah. Okay, so this is obviously something that's been going on for so long here in Charlotte. Uh, what do you think it is that uh, gets so many people excited every year? I think it's the combination of everything that's good in life, right? Good food, good entertainment, good opportunities for fellowship, and a good way to entertain and educate at the same time. So for people who have not been able to go out to the festival or maybe are new to Charlotte, tell us what people can expect. They can expect three days of, of delicious food that's prepared by all of our volunteers of our community, world-class entertainment, um, the opportunity to learn about the Greek culture, the Orthodox faith, um, and, and have some fun along the way. And it's a festival, regardless if you're five or 95, that's meant for everybody. Absolutely, and yes, there's Greek dancing and all different kinds of things for people to learn more about the culture. Um, what can people expect this year that maybe is new? So this year we're bringing back a few menu items that okay. we're really uh, excited about. We're bringing back our baked fish, ooh, um, ooh, our ooh. freshly squeezed lemonade that we tried last year is back this year. Okay. We've got a brand new band that's gonna be performing inside. And what we're really excited about is the return of our live cooking demo. We used to have oh. demonstrations a lot in the past, and this year we're doing one cooking demo live on stage featuring um, Frank Keltsunas, who is uh, from uh, Xenia Hospitality with Elios Noche, Elios Craft in Greek. So he's going to be cooking uh, some really scrumptious stuff for us. And when is that going to be? Friday on the front stage on East Boulevard at 2 o'clock. Okay, awesome, great. And we're showing some video from some previous years. How many people roughly usually head out for this, do you know? We estimate somewhere between 20 and 25,000. We're about wow. the second or third largest Greek festival in the country, so we're really proud about that. That's amazing, okay. And then there are also some, uh, some rides, so a lot for the whole family to do. Of course, we've gotta be able to entertain everybody, regardless if you're, uh, you're into the culture or you just wanna hop on a little merry-go-round and enjoy the fun. All right, what's your favorite food? Oh, my favorite food probably would have to be the pastizzo, which you can find inside layers of meat and pasta. Ooh. And then if we're talking sweets, you gotta try the lukumadas, the fried donut hulls. I mean, oh, between the holes. Nutella yeah. and the cinnamon and the syrup. Oh, Incredible. Yes. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, I know everyone's excited. This is September 6th through the 8th. Uh, we're gonna show that information again. Uh, over 40 items to taste, drive-through options available as well. Indeed, if you can't stop inside the grounds, get some drive-through, all the great food options are available. Wonderful, well thank you so much for joining us. Thank